What's up guys, it's Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, we will start with uh, all the parameter inside of the game. After that we will go to the config file because we can change more stuff to optimize the game. So first of all, make sure that you're playing full screen. I saw a, a bit of... Uh, I'm losing some FPS when I'm playing uh, borderless or uh, window mode. So full screen is the way to go. Uh, also, your active monitor, make sure that it's the proper one. I had an issue with that. They were using my uh, second screen. So, um, yeah. Resolution, I'm playing 1080p uh, for sure. After the video, if you don't still get your uh, 60 FPS, you will need to lower it and play something like 720p. So, uh, this is the way where you can change it. Uh, another thing, refresh rate, uh, I'm playing at 144, by default the game was at 60, so if you have an high refresh rate screen, make sure that you change it over there because you're probably playing in 62. Um, V-Sync off, we want to unlock it, and FPS limit off. After that, let's go to graphic. So we want to play with custom. We don't want to use adaptive uh, quality because we're gonna put uh, the settings that we want. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I'm playing this one at medium, but for sure if you have a laptop or an integrate video card, go with low. You can remove it if you want, but honestly, a game without anti-aliasing is kind of pain in the ass. So uh, you want uh, a bit of image quality. So let's go with low or medium. Shadow, really important, put this one at low. Uh, you will gain a lot of FPS. Uh, it's like 3 FPS for, uh, tr not 3 FPS, 3% 3 uh, uh, gain by a bracket. So if you go I, very high or I, whatever, too low for each bracket, you're getting 3% of FPS. So that's pretty good. Environment detail. Uh, this one I'm putting at medium. As you can see, they're adding a lot of detail in the environment. It depends where you are and where you're looking for this one but still you can gain like one to two percent of increase by bracket so it's still good texture detail not really important if you have a lot of vram and also the game show the vram that you have on your card and where you are right now so if you have like two gig you will probably need to lower this for sure if you have three gig and more you will probably be fine uh terran i'm putting at medium but honestly this one it's more like if you uh, struggle with your 60 FPS or you want to play at 144 FPS, uh, you can lower it, but you will gain like 2 or 3 FPS. It's not like a big thing. Clutter, you can gain 2% for each bracket. It's As you can see, it's the grass. So less grass when you run and stuff like that and you walk in the map. So uh, nice gain over here. I'm playing at medium. Fog for me, again, I'm playing at medium. Uh, two percent uh, the increase uh, when I change it, but it's not like a big thing like a shadow or volumetric cloud that we'll uh, talk uh, later. Water, same thing. I'm playing at high. Not a big uh, change for me. Uh, I saw maybe one FPS for each bracket, so not a big deal. Uh, screen space reflection. I'm just removing that one. All the reflection always take a lot of resources. So this one, just put this one at off, and you will be fine. Volumetric cloud, this one really important. When I play at very high and I go to low, I gain like 22 FPS. So that's a lot of FPS. So make sure whatever computer that you have and you're struggling with your FPS, put this one at low. This is the most important thing that you need to do in your graphic settings. Texture detail for the character, not a problem. I'm, uh, I'm high. Uh, I'm putting it at I, I'm not I. <laughs> And uh, yeah, my VRAM is still okay, so that's why I'm, I still uh, play at, at high. Uh, character, very high. I saw a bit of increase sometimes, uh, it depends on where I was in the map. So uh, when I was putting at medium, I was getting like 4 FPS if I compare it to very high, but it's not that uh, big of an improvement. Ambient occlusion, nice chunk here, 2% for each bracket. I'm just removing ambient occlusion. And depth of field, I saw a small uh, performance increase, but I don't like the effect of depth of field, so I always remove that to my game. So it's more uh, like your preference if you want to keep it or not. So now let's go to the config file. Uh, before the config file, um, search for ACO where you install your game and you will see an application with like 272 meg. 
right click on it, go to properties, compatibility, and make sure that you disable the full screen optimization. It can help some people uh, with uh, the performance. After that, the config file is pretty easy to find. It's in your document. Go to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You will have a file like that. Double click on it and you will see all the parameter that you change in the game, but you will see that some were not, were not there. So uh, we will change it here um, to complete the guide. So the first one that you need to make sure is HDR enabled. That is, uh, it needs to be at zero. I saw a couple of people that uh, they added at one and the, the game was like slaughter and stuff. So make sure this one it has, is at zero. The only thing that you need to make sure is rain. Put this one at one. You will stabilize your FPS if you're still struggling with uh, your FPS. And the last one is Tessellation. I didn't see a big improvement on my Nvidia card, but on my AMD RX 580, this one was huge. Like I, by default, they're putting three over here. I put it at one and I was gaining like eight FPS. So really important to do that here, there. And if you want to make other change, this is where you need to do your change. So after that, you press save, you click X, right click on it, go to properties and make sure that the file is read only because you don't want the game to override your file. So this is the way you can block your file. So that's it for the guide guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig. So CPU, RAM and uh, graphic card. I will try to help you the best that I can. If, you're, if you are from Canada or America, um, just scroll a little bit in my description. I have now Amazon link, affiliate link. So if you want to buy something in that Amazon, you can click on the link and after that, do your buy. It will help the channel a lot to grow. And also don't forget to subscribe. Peace.